Hello friends, welcome back to our help videos. In this video, we will see how to create shipping settings or fix shipping related errors in your Google Merchant Center Next account. Please note that we do not sync the shipping settings from your Shopify store, as these settings typically remain unchanged for extended periods. Also, there are certain limitations from the Content API perspective, due to which we cannot submit them to your Merchant Center account. So, you will have to manually create shipping settings in your Google Merchant Center Next account. In this video, we will cover the following types of shipping settings. Free shipping on all products. Order price-based shipping settings. Product weight-based shipping settings. Carrier calculated shipping settings. Shipping label-based shipping settings. Shipping settings for additional countries. To watch a particular type of shipping, kindly check out the description section of this video which has the timestamp mentioned. Before we proceed with all the shipping setting options, please make sure that you create the shipping rates the same as your Shopify store. Let's begin with the free shipping for all products. In your Google Merchant Center next, click on the shipping and return option under your business section of the left navigation panel. Click on add shipping information on the shipping info page and select the add country option. Click on Add or Remove Countries and select the country of target for which you want to create the shipping settings. Save the settings and click on Continue. Select the countries for which you want to create the shipping settings and click on Continue at the bottom of the page. Here, you will have the option to create shipping for all products or for specific products. Please note that the default shipping for all products must be entered before you can add the shipping info for specific products. We will select the All Products option as we are creating the shipping for free shipping on all products. Click on Continue and proceed to the next page. Now you will get the option of selecting the delivery times for the service. Select the second option of Enter Specific Delivery Times manually. It is recommended to select this option as it gives you the option to set your own fixed ranges. Enter the order cutoff time as per your time zone and the duration in business days for the products to be shipped from the warehouse. Also, enter the number of business days during which the product will remain in transit and get delivered to the customer. Click on Continue. Please ensure that your primary target market's currency is selected in the currency section. Now, select the first option of free shipping in the shipping costs section. Then, click on Save. Here, you will see the free shipping information added to the Merchant Center next. Click on Done. You will have to wait for 24 hours for the shipping rates to get implemented. Price-based shipping settings. Now, let us see how to add the shipping rates based on the order price. Go to the Shipping and Returns page and click on Add Shipping Information. Here, the United States is already added since we had previously set up free shipping for this country. If you are creating the shipping settings for the first time for a particular country, you can add the country from this option. Select the country for which you want to create the price-based shipping settings and click on Continue at the bottom of the page. You will have the option to create shipping for all products or for specific products. We will select the All Products option as we are creating price-based shipping for all the products. Click on Continue and proceed to the next page. Now select the delivery time for the service. Please note that the carrier delivery option is only available for selected countries. For the list of countries eligible for carrier calculated rates, please refer to the link provided in the description below. Select the second option of enter specific delivery times manually. It is recommended to select this option as it gives you the option to set your own fixed ranges. Enter the order cutoff time as per your time zone, and the duration and business days for the products to be shipped from the warehouse. Also, enter the number of business days during which the product will remain in transit and get delivered to the customer. Click on Continue. Please ensure that your primary target market's currency is selected in the currency section. Now, in the shipping cost section, select the second option of paid shipping, and in the shipping cost type, select the price option. Please double check the shipping settings done in the Shopify store. Here, we are charging 5.99 US dollars for shipping for orders ranging from 0 to 100 US dollars. We are adding the same in the Google Merchant Center next. Here, you can add more order rows by clicking on Add Price Range. 
Now we are adding one more shipping rate for orders in the range of $100 to $150. We are charging $4.99 for this order value range. Since we offer free shipping for an order value of $150 or more, we will set the rate as zero and then click on save. Please note for free shipping, we enter the amount as zero. On the next page, you will see the shipping information added to the Merchant Center next. Click on done. You need to wait for 24 hours to get this change implemented. Product weight based shipping settings. Next, let us look at the shipping rates based on the order weight. It has a similar setup to the price based shipping. Go to the shipping and returns page and click on add shipping information. Here, we've already added the United States as the target country. If you create the shipping settings for the first time for a particular country, you can add the country from this option. Select the country for which you want to create the weight based shipping settings and click on continue. You will have the option to create shipping for all products or for specific products. We will select the all products option as we are creating weight based shipping for all products. Click on continue and proceed to the next page. Enter the order cutoff time as per your time zone and the duration in business days for the products to be shipped from the warehouse. Also, enter the number of business days during which the product will remain in transit and get delivered to the customer. Click on continue. Please ensure that your primary target market's currency is selected in the currency section. Now, in the shipping cost type section, select the weight option. Once you select the order weight option, you will have two weight units to choose from, weight in kilograms and weight in pounds. In our case, it is kilogram, as we have set the shipping in our Shopify store using kilogram. However, if your shipping setting in the Shopify store is done using pounds as a unit of weight, you need to select pound. Kindly double check the shipping settings done in the Shopify store to avoid any errors. Here, the first range is less than 500 kilograms. So, enter the range of 0 to 499.9999 and a shipping rate of $100. Then to add one more order weight range, click on add weight range and enter the range of 500 to 1499.9999 kilograms and the shipping rate of $50. Since we are offering free shipping on orders weighing 1500 kilograms or more, set the rate as zero and then click on save. On the next page, you will see the shipping information added to the merchant center next. Click on done. You will need to wait for 24 hours for this change implemented. Shipping label based shipping settings. We will now see how to set up the shipping settings based on the shipping label. This option should only be used when the other discussed options don't work. For example, if you have different shipping rates for different types of products, different vendors, or any other shipping settings that vary based on products other than the weight or price. In the shipping label based shipping settings, you need to assign a specific shipping label to a particular product or group of products and use them to create different shipping rates. As an example, we have a vendor named Air Cooler for which we charge different shipping rates. The vendor name provided here is for demo purposes only. For the Air Cooler products, we charge 5.99 euros for orders weighing below 5 kilograms and 4.99 euros for orders weighing 5 kilograms or heavier. For the rest of the products on our store, we are charging flat 4.99 euros as shipping charges. Let's create the shipping settings based on the above scenario. We'll begin by assigning the shipping label in our app to the Air Cooler products. Go to Manage Products in the app and click on Filter Products. Select Vendor from the first drop-down and select Air Cooler from the second drop-down. Select all the products and click on Do Edits in Bulk. Choose the option to assign shipping label. In the Bulk Edit pop-up, enter the term for the shipping label that you wish to use in the Merchant Center. Here we are adding the vendor name, Air Cooler, for easy reference and click on Apply in Bulk. Shipping labels assigned to the products will be submitted automatically to your merchant center next within 30 minutes. Now, we will assign standard shipping as a shipping label for the rest of the products. Filter the products, select the shipping label in the first drop-down, and then select Not Defined. We are selecting the Not Defined option, as we are working on the products that do not have any shipping labels assigned. 
Select all products, click on do edits in bulk, and choose assign shipping label. Now, add the shipping label as standard shipping, and apply the changes in bulk. Once you have assigned it, please wait for 30 minutes for the changes to get reflected in your Merchant Center Next. Now, let's set up the shipping settings in your Merchant Center Next account. Go to the Shipping and Returns page and click on Add Shipping Information. If you are creating the shipping settings for the first time for a particular country, you can add the country from this option. Select the country for which you want to create shipping label based shipping settings and click on Continue at the bottom of the page. First, we will create the shipping settings for all products, and then we will create the shipping settings for specific products. Select All Products option. Click on Continue. Enter the order cutoff time as per your time zone and the duration and business days for the products to be shipped from the warehouse. Also, enter the number of business days during which the product will remain in transit and get delivered to the customers. Click on Continue. Please ensure that your primary target market's currency is selected in the currency section. Now, select the first option of free shipping in the shipping costs section. Then, click on save. Here, you will see the free shipping information added to the merchant center next. Click on done. We will now edit this shipping setting to create the shipping for specific products. On the shipping info page, click on the already created shipping settings. As we are making changes to the existing shipping settings, you will see the default country already selected. Click on continue at the bottom of the page. Here, you will see the specific product option is available to select. Select it, and you will see an option to select products by label. Click on it, and select the air cooler label. Save the settings. Click on continue and proceed to the next page. Again, you will get the option to set the delivery times. Proceed by clicking on Continue. Now, in the Shipping Cost section, select the second option of Paid Shipping, and in the Shipping Cost type, select the Weight option. Once you select the Order Weight option, you will have two weight units to choose from, weight in kilograms and weight in pounds. In our case, it is kilogram, as we have set the shipping in our Shopify store using kilogram. However, if your shipping setting in the Shopify store is done using pounds as a unit of weight, you need to select pound. Here, from the costs drop-down, select the fixed trade option as we are charging fixed rates for a specific weight range. As discussed before, we are charging 5.99 euros for orders weighing below 5 kilograms and 4.99 euros for orders weighing 5 kilograms or heavier. Click on the save option and you will see the shipping information added to the Merchant Center next. Ensure that you've reviewed the preceding section of the video that explains how to add the shipping rates based on different criteria. Now, let us add the shipping charges for the rest of the products. Again, select the already created shipping on the shipping info page. Proceed by clicking on the continue button. Here, you will see the option specific product has already been selected. Click on select products by label and select the standard shipping label. Save the settings. Click on Continue and proceed to the next page to set the delivery times, and then click on Continue. Enter the shipping rates as discussed before and click on Save. On the next page, you will see the shipping information added to the Merchant Center next. You need to wait for 24 hours to get this change implemented. Shipping Settings for Additional Countries Now, let's see how to set up the shipping settings for additional countries. Please note that shipping settings are not required for every country. You can find the list of countries that require shipping settings by visiting the link provided in the description below. Here, we have United States as the primary country of submission. We will create the shipping settings for the United Kingdom as an additional country. Go to your Merchant Center account and click on Add Shipping Information, then click Add Country. Add United Kingdom as an additional country and save the settings. Select and proceed by clicking on Continue. You will have the option to create shipping for all products or for specific products. We will select the All Products option, as we are creating free shipping for all products. Click on Continue and proceed to the next page. Enter the order cutoff time as per your time zone, as well as the handling time for your orders before they are dispatched. Also, add in the actual shipping time and business days for the orders to be delivered. 
please ensure that the currency is the same as your store's default currency and not the currency of the target country. Now, select the first option of free shipping in the shipping cost section. Then, click on save. Here, you will see the free shipping information added to the merchant center next. Click on done. To add more such target countries, simply click on the add country option and follow the same process as seen now. Carrier calculated shipping settings. Now, let's see how to set up the carrier calculated shipping settings. As of now, you will have three carrier options available. USPS, UPS and FedEx. You can create the shipping settings with your preferred carrier or with all the carriers. Please be aware that Google does not offer carrier calculated shipping rates in all the countries and all the carriers you may be working with. For the list of countries eligible for carrier calculated rates, please refer to the link provided in the description below. Make sure that you configure the shipping settings in the same manner as you have set them up in your Shopify store, aligning them with your chosen carrier. That's all about the shipping settings. Hope this helps. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you never miss out on the latest updates. Got more questions? Drop them in the comments below or send an email to support at Thank you for watching.